I would like to thank you very much that you, we could come to Romania and we had all the days we could be here it was uh, really like a gift also and we met so many people young people more a lot of young people and we are really impressed about the the power the young people have they want something and they they you, we can feel that there is a hope to find um, also change things and this was uh, it was really a very very deep um, experience to see how the young people really try to bring culture, discussion, uh, open up the doors. I think uh, you can't choose a fear, you know, because all the babushkas, one, they are all connected in a way, you know, yeah, and it's exactly. interesting that there's the demons, the devils, the media and Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin, for example. So we are, you know, I mean, what, what do we do with our fear? And um, I think um, we are almost obliged to, to overcome fear and to find new forms of life um, that allows us to live in a concrete hope, even if we are surrounded by that fear, because the fear is built up by the politicians and the, and the trusts, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a political topic, you know, that um, that many people now who are in power work with fear and all over the world and as Simone said also here you can feel that there is people who don't want to live in that fear who have other ideas that conf to confront that that fear and to overcome that fear you know so fear is a very interesting topic and also the movie that we brought here tells about people who just are trying to build up a new vision what life means beyond all that fears we are surrounded by. I think when you don't open up the door to a vision what you want to do, you know, like a lot of young people, you we, we always we fight against something and we forget what we really wish and it's maybe it's more difficult to have a vision for something than a definition always against, against, against. So it's better to, to fight um, peacefully for something. I thought when I started this movie, all, I mean all, all, our, all the movies we've done until now is movies that talk about freedom, talk about hope, talk about uh, possibilities to live on this planet and to create new forms of life. And in this, this time, when I started thinking about a new movie, I thought, what could be the element that is carrying this narration of hope and freedom and independence? And um, all of a sudden, I thought, maybe it's the plants, because I see that there's new relationships, new connections, growing between human beings and plants at this moment all over the world. So I thought, well, let's, let's, let's find out what's, what, what's there as, as, as elements of, of, of connection between human beings and plants. On, and I started searching for that. And on this way, I found beautiful people all over the world. And some of these places I visited, I've chosen um, for, for the narration of this movie. And all of them, they are connected in this concrete moment of transforming reality and also destruction into something else, into life. And in, in this way, uh, the family, the, the film is, is, has created a family of people that are now united in this movie. I think that a big mistake of uh, maybe also good people in the... There are also good people.
people like in the me like a measure has also power but the, the main thing is that the system wants that we answer so quick the answers to what happens in the world they are quick and if it's like when you're you know it's not uh, it's only the this it's not the sim symptom no it's a symptom yeah and it's not really the, the it's not really the root why something is not working well so i think that even social movements um they have to go slow yeah and all the social medias also it's necessary to go in the street it's necessary to meet the people it's necessary to talk maybe to somebody you you would never talk and one of the main thing is you have to listen so also a social movement has to listen to little parts of people and um, there is time we can take the time to take time or to be slow is like a resistance in these days yes, we should certainly learn from nature which has its own of course we wish organisms. yeah of course we wish that the transformation is is there even uh, one person in the movie who is planting he's an anar uh, he was a long time also in uh, an anarchist no yeah, yeah yeah and at the end also he said yeah sometimes i wish that it gets faster <laughs> but it's also nice to see step by step how something grows okay. yeah there is one as you mentioned because i would also have talked about there's one figure in the movie Maurice Maggi he's a guerrilla gardener in Zurich and he does that wild plantations in the city incognito clandestine since 20 years since 30 years and he talks about pioneer plants and the pioneer plants are plants that are almost invisible but preparing the land for the next generations you know so his concept of pioneer plants you can also see in the social movements that are ongoing now. And uh, we even met a, a, a filmmaker in Paris and he said beautifully, maybe even this movie that is now screened here in, in, in Bucharest is a kind of a pioneer plants, a plant for new forms of perception, of awareness, of um, how we can feel ourselves in this world. So all of us, we can believe in pi being, in a way, pioneer plants for something that has to come.